Today, we're going to explore podcast generation within Brisk Teaching. As you can see, I already have a reading passage up. This one is Matter in Motion, and it is geared towards eighth grade science students. Keep in mind that Brisk will work over top of anything you are creating. So whether it's a doc or a presentation, a PDF, or even a website, you can Brisk it. So in this case, I'm going to come on down to Brisk because I want to open up the podcast feature. I'm going to click Brisk, and when I do, I see options here, and I want to go right away to click Create. Once in Create, you can see I have a full library of options, and I'm going to select Podcast. You'll see here that I do have options to change the language. I can also add standards or remove. So I'll show you what that looks like. I can always just click the plus sign and add a standard. Um, I can type it in as well. And I'm going to click Done. Now, within podcasting, just know that you can have up to two minutes if you have the free version of Brisk. If you have Educator Pro, you'll have up to five minutes. And for those of you with school and district accounts, you will have up to 10 minutes. You can always adjust for the grade level. I've added my prompt so that we can be specific to Brisk on what we hope for from our podcast. So we're going to go ahead now and Brisk it. It'll take just a quick minute for our podcast to generate, but you can see it's coming through. And our podcast has generated. We have Matter in Motion, the Daily Chemical Dance. So as you can see, in this case, the duration is five minutes. You'll see the date it was created. And down below, you'll also see you have a play button. Now, if you're not crazy about the title, you can always go ahead and rename. Let's go ahead and click play and see what we have. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Science Explorers. I'm Zainab, and today we're diving into the fascinating world. All right, you can hear that this is now being narrated for us. Um, we can listen to this entire podcast, and I really love that the transcript is here for students to follow along. I also love that at any time, if they need to go back and listen to part of the podcast, or maybe they need to jump ahead and find details, they can always just click on a section to be able to listen in. Miguel, have you ever thought about how particles combine to form everything we see around us from the... So as you can see, we do have a complete podcast here of five minutes in length. Now, it's always important to go through and definitely take the time to read what has been generated for your students and make sure it aligns with everything you're looking for. You can always go back and make revisions. You might be wondering, well, now what? How do I share this with my students? In order to share, we're just going to go over to the right-hand side, and you'll see a couple of options. Number one, you can download any of your podcasts and then upload wherever your students are having their listening experience. You can also share a direct link to the podcast. By doing that, it's going to take students to the podcast and they can listen in. If you've been using Brisk for a while, you know that everything within Brisk will save automatically to your drive. However, podcasts are different. Podcasts will automatically save to your My Podcast page. I'll show you what that looks like. If I click my podcast, it's going to open up and you'll see any of the podcasts that I have generated. So you can always refer back to any of your past podcasts. Now, if we went ahead and shared this link with students, I do want to show you what that will look like. Once students click on that link, their page is going to look just like this. So very similar to your page, but a little bit different. They will also have the option to download or grab a link and they'll be able to play and navigate the entire podcast. I also appreciate that you can boost any podcast generation that you might have. All you have to do is select Boost It. I'm going to click Boost It on my podcast page, and you'll see that we have all different options here. And in this case, I'm going to create a pulse check. Again, I'm going to Brisk It. Okay, our Boost activity for students is ready to share. We do have a couple of ways to share. You can see there is a QR code. You can also have students go to this site here and enter the code, or you can even copy this link. In this case, I'm just going to copy the link so you can see what it looks like. Once students grab that link and click it, they'll be able to enter their information for the Brisk Boost activity. In the student view, you'll see everything that they have access to. So 
Within this page, you'll notice that they have the play button for the podcast. Again, they'll be able to grab the link or download themselves and they can see how long it is. They can follow along with the transcript and do everything the same. They can go ahead and click ahead. Uh, they can go back and review any sections, which is lovely. Also, you'll see that there are the learning objectives. So students will be able to look through their own learning objectives and be able to see how that applies to their lesson. And of course, they'll also see the pulse check now, any chats that students engage with are visible to the teacher, and all the student needs to do is click Let's Go. Brisk Boost has already engaged our students by asking some questions about chemical reactions. What I really like with this pulse check is that our students can go back and reread, they can go re-listen to the podcast, and of course, then they can respond here with Brisk Boost. This is a great way to do a check for understanding and just a nice formative assessment. I added a quick response so that you can also see how Brisk Boost responds back to students regarding this podcast activity. Now back in the teacher page, you'll also see that down below, I have the option to monitor students. When I come into the teacher dashboard to monitor student progress, you'll see that I can see one student is in progress. I can even hover over to be able to see what that student is working on. I can come on over to view and be able to view their actual progress and the conversation. If I need to pause the activity, I can do that too. So there really are so many features for educators to take advantage of and be able to keep track of student progress and how we can better support. I'm returning to the window where we discussed how you can share your Brisk Boost activity with students. You'll see that we also have the option to preview and edit the activity. And now as the teacher, I have editing capabilities. I can change the title. I can come over to the learning objectives and make changes to these as well. I can add more and save them. And of course, if I need to make any adjustments in the pulse check, I can do that too. There are so many ways that we can bring our content to life through Brisk Podcasts. We're excited for you to dive in and get started.